We're mm. live. We're mm. live. Hello. Hola. 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 My bad. Brian brought us. Sorry, guys. We're a few minutes late. Brian is just. He doesn't care that much, honestly. Mm. <laughs> he just doesn't. Wait, he just doesn't care that much. What? But he's here. <laughs> We're ready to. Um, <laughs> what are you doing today? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm trying Jeez, to. Do you need that much space? I, I guess I'm getting bigger. <laughs> You're not. Hi guys. Hello. Um, yes. So we're we're here, ready uh, to talk about some divisional Playoffs. rounds. You didn't. You had no confidence, Game? did you? You had no confidence. You had no about? confidence in the, in the Cowboys last week, did you? Last week I did. Did you? Yes. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just kidding. You go ahead. <laughs> How about this week? <laughs> How about this week? How about this week? How about it? How about, How about, the, about it? Oh, wait, the people are, the people are taking up for you. Hello, because, Southern Illinois. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Um, okay, let's start off. How about his beastly injury? This is yeah. an injury. Well, he's been dealing with with the whole foot thing yeah. for a while. It's been like foot, the foot ankle. and ankle. There you go. Um, that has happened several times. We've seen him in the past where he's had to come off the field and they kind of re-taped his foot. There you go. He went back in. That happened. Last game, he... Came off, came back in, finished the game. But as far as, as well, I don't know about today just yet. The did the practice, practice report, report just came out? Up? Yeah, I haven't taken a look at it yet. Was I, he still limited? Yeah, I talked to some folks. He so didn't, he's still he, limited. He didn't practice at all. And uh, Tavon Austin took his snaps at, at the. So they're going to rest this Ambar. If they uh, tomorrow, he'll probably practice a little bit, and then Friday they're just walk through. But. Maybe, you know, that Cole, I would not worry about Cole Beasley yeah. as far as needing the reps to practice to play. In that in, aspect. In yeah. that aspect. And so with that being said, I feel like, though, that Cole Beasley will be good to go. I don't think I Cole think so too. he's just not 100%. He yeah. really isn't 100%. He will, you know. So. But if, if this was like some other game earlier in the season, maybe. But where we're at yeah, right now, I don't yeah. think he's that's going to happen. He's, yeah. he's going to play. Uh, Tavon. Uh, not a bad deal. Not he's a bad deal, right yes. Yeah. He... He was able to kind of get going a little bit last week. Yeah, but it's good. It's good because Tavon missed so many weeks mm -hmm. of not doing anything. To have him in the slot, have him outside, have him returning punts. I mean, we've talked about this. Yeah. What do we want Tavon Austin to do? We want him to return some punts. What do he do? He returned some punts. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, but you. Uh, but, thank you. He's, he's blushing. He's Wait, blushing. No, I'm not. <laughs> You're blushing. Okay. <laughs> you look great, Brian. You look great too, Ambar. <laughs> um, let's see. Worst case scenario, what do they do if Blake and Cole can't go? Yes, Blake is another one that's dealing. Uh, I believe it's an ankle too, right? Yeah. Ankle injury. Um, yeah, he. I don't know how. I, how severe high, are you here? It's Garrett, Garrett said it was a high ankle sprain. Concerning. That but he's, he, I feel more concerned about him than Cole because he's a, again he's a rookie, not not a rookie. He he is does he needs to practice. Yeah. He needs to practice. Yeah. Basically, what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. I, when you compare it to Cole, Cole, you feel more confident of him missing practice and that he'll be okay. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to Blake, he just he needs those reps and. Yeah. All right, so right now, uh, what was the report on him he today? Was, he was he didn't practice at all. I was told. So yeah, he he was on the side. He and Cole were working with Britt Brown on the uh, on the on the bands, and you know he was moving around okay. We'll see again. That's tomorrow. What will yeah. be their their status? I, I think that Ambar, you're going to see, you know, with Schultz. Uh, you're also going to see, you know, people asking about Rico. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to have to think about maybe using Noah Brown some as an extra guy. Maybe even. If they get in some 13 personnel, yeah. maybe if, if, if he's not active, maybe you get uh, Cam Fleming as the extra tackle in, in there. So they will figure out ways to work around if Blake Jarwin can, in fact, uh, cannot play this game. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, tomorrow's going to say a lot. Yeah. Of, it's basically their final practice. Right. So we'll see until tomorrow. And, Keep an and, eye on our Twitter accounts and yeah. stuff like that. We'll, we'll let you know what's going on. Um, where's this? Why not take David Irving off the roster and bring somebody else up? Again, big question mark about him. It has happened all season long. He is still not practicing, but I've heard that he's been doing some work with some of the guys out here True. Uh, as far as coaching and, and some of the front office people watching. Yeah. And yeah. and I think there's still hope or they, they still... 
somebody, somebody has hope yeah. that he can still come up and play. Yeah. And, but again, it, it's, it's not going to be this week, though. It's still a mystery. Yeah. Not really a mystery. We know kind of a little bit, but not into full details uh, as to why that is and yeah. why they didn't decide to put him on IR or something like yeah. that. But yeah. I think Ambar did. I think the front office, they went out there and watched him work out. And I think they have an idea of where he is. And I actually saw him. It was the first time I saw him, other than being on the field the other day, uh, saw him in the cafeteria this morning and stuff. People were like, hey, welcome back, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, is there hope? Yeah, you're going to have to win. But, you know, he, he obviously is not in, he's not healthy enough to go. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he's not in condition to play. And that's kind of been the story of his uh of, of his year he, he wasn't healthy yeah. he wasn't ready to play the rehab and all that stuff and you know depending on who you talk to there's people saying hey move on and there's people say well maybe there's some hope so he at least this week Ambar he, he's not going to be a part yeah. of anything that the Cowboys yeah. do yeah. and he is a beast we know that but again you need the practice you need you can't just I don't know where just come on and turn the switch on yeah. and just get on yeah. there but yeah. we'll, we'll see um <laughs> Let's see. I saw a question about Lance Lenore. Yes, Lance Lenore uh, name being mentioned earlier yeah. in the week. Are we still going to need him? There's still questions. There are several injuries in, in the wide receiver group. Obviously, right. Alan Hearns went down. Very unfortunate injury, but he's out for the remainder. Yeah. And surgery went well. Yes, be surgery back with- went well. Yeah. According to the reports, he should be back for the beginning of next year right or later on this August, year yeah August, yeah later yeah. on this year we're right. in 2018 but yeah later on next season yeah. um you got Cole Beasley with the ankle injury that you still kind of have to keep an eye on and if it does in fact have to come out the field off the field then mm-hmm. you need you need some back up there at the wide receiver Austin position too. So. Austin coming back too. Austin with this injury as yes, well. Yes, so Tavon Austin is also There's a couple positions Ambar that they're looking at that might have to go long at. Yeah. Offensive lineman and, and then wide, wide receiver. receiver. Those are the two spots that they might have to dress one less defensive player so they can carry an extra offensive lineman or an extra wide receiver. Lance Lenore plays special teams or was playing mm-hmm. special teams so We'll see which uh, which position they go long at. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what is the plan for Donald? Aaron Donald? Mm. Yeah, you know, and what we were talking about with, you know, I, I was on radio just a little bit ago, Amber. I, That's why I, he was late. I, was, I felt like, though, that they would go back with Suofilo as the starting guard. And I, I think what's – and I see a question right there. Okay. And, and this is a, a lot of uh, – yeah. I've seen people asking this in regards to – Connor versus Suafilo. Yeah. Uh, you got a very healthy Con- Connor right now. Well, he's healthy. Yeah. And, and he did a good job last right. weekend. Uh, now you have Suafilo coming right. off an ankle injury, mm-hmm. still recovering. He didn't do any work last week. He was right. out of, during the game. Now right. this week he's on a limited ba- basis. Yes. You still feel more comfortable having him despite the injury? You know what, Amber? I thought they would immediately go back to Suafilo. I think that Connor Williams starts at left guard in this game. I, I do. I think I think after what happened last yeah. week in the Seattle game and the way that he played, and, yeah, this is going to be – Can't earn his spot back. Earn his spot back. I think that as well as Suofilo played, they know that if Suofilo doesn't practice, that he can't play well. And so he's yeah. he's back to practicing, but Connor Williams did a great job last week for them. And so they're – Maybe they're, he's – Get him healthy enough to where yeah. he can be that backup that if you do need I think him. Suofilo will be the backup. I think that him, yeah. Fleming, and then also then Redmond will be the three backups. So, yeah, that's – I mean, but we'll see. I mean, they're they're going to clearly keep an eye on Aaron Donald, you know, and I know that Ambar did stuff for uh, – I, I did a thing for Aaron Donald on my breakdown cr- for film, uh-huh. and then she did one too, two totally different plays, and you'll see – you know, we all understand what Aaron Donald is, and he's going to try and win on the first step. And but do you think that okay, very different player right. this week than the one he faced last week right. against Seattle? Now, right. do you think that do you feel comfortable enough with Connor's strength to be able to stop a guy like him? Okay, Donald is a is athletic, athletic and strong. Where Indomitian Sue is just really big and strong, and I, I have a feeling that Wade Phillips is going to attack whoever's playing guard 
for the for the Cowboys, the left guard. I think he's going to clearly attack. And now the good thing about that, though, well, if you're, no, if you're the a Cowboy, weakest the spot. weakest. If you're a Cowboy fan, you have to be gla- glad, excuse me, that mm-hmm. Zach Martin is your right guard because whoever they put over on that other side, Zach Martin can handle one on one. Yeah. And so, and, and that means if they have to help Joe Looney over to help Connor Williams in pass blocking situations, you know, we'll we'll see. But uh, you know, it's 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 something that. You know, it's it's gonna. That's what's how it's gonna go down. I know a lot of people are not really excited about you know the uh, Connor yeah. Williams going, but yeah. you know, that's that's really where it is right now. I mean, it, when, it's gonna you, be tough. When you get sure. the, when you get in the playoffs, you get the best teams. You get the best defenses. Hey, trust me. I mean, they've got a situation. They're gonna have to deal with Demarcus uh, Demarcus Lawrence. You know, they're gonna have to deal right. with the human log. You know, they're going to have some guys they're going to have to deal with, too. So it's just, you know, it's just that's... Don't that's, blink. Don't blink. Don't blink. Absolutely. <laughs> don't blink. Donald saw will be average after rest. Yeah. I mean, this is one of those things that I, I don't know what you believe in as far as the defense goes, whether them having a week worth of rest yeah. affects their little rhythm yeah or does that just make them stronger well the cowboys have been playing meaningful football since you and i've been doing it when they were three and five we were doing these podcasts uh, these periscopes and it's and they've been playing a playoff game every single week and the rams for at one time were playing for uh they were playing to get the number one seed and they lost out of the end to the saints and you know, they kind of limped in. If you look at the numbers of how things were shaking out at the end, the, the Rams lost some games that, you know, yeah. they probably shouldn't have lost. And, you know, they, they had to rest some guys and try to get. So, you know, there's a lot of pressure on the Rams because last year they lost in the first round of the playoffs. Now Sean McVay, you know, they win 13 yeah. games or 12 games, and now they're, you know, they're the second seed, you know, and if they lose this game, well, okay, he's 0-2, you know, what's the deal there? So, Mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm going to take my chance. I, I'm I'm you know what to be honest with you. I'm I'm glad they're going to play in Los Angeles. I'm glad they're playing the Rams. I well, really well yeah. No no I I just even though they've beaten the Saints. Yeah. I think a trip I think a trip to Los Angeles win that game and if if it means the only way you're going to get a home championship game is if Philadelphia can go. And Philadelphia has been pretty hot. Yeah. So I mean you know they they're playing playoff games too. So there's something to that. There really, really is something to that. I guess we'll have to wait and see yeah. what happens there. But um, definitely won't be an easy game. No, it, it won't. It, it's going to be tough. But I think you could argue either way. Yeah. And it, it's kind of how it's been, at least with the Cowboys. It's You I think, can I, seriously argue either way. I think fans would give the Cowboys less of a chance going to New Orleans and having to win a game right now than they would go oh, to, yeah. go to yeah, Los Angeles. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, what do we need to do to keep Chris Richard? Uh, I don't think you can do anything. Well, if, if, <laughs> if, if Chris Richard gets, there's two things I'm hearing about Miami. Two things. Brian Flores from the Patriots is in the, the in, they also like him uh, from the New England Patriots. He's a defensive coordinator. The Dolphins like him. The Miami ownership group, the front office, everybody was here for the Seattle game. They yeah. came to watch the Cowboys play and, and what Chris Richard and those guys did. The other day, so you know uh, the, when you talk about uh, Alex Marvez, who longtime South Florida writer down there, does stuff with Sirius Satellite Radio. Mm-hmm. He's plugged in. He was talking about talking to people that they they really do like Chris Richard. So I'm hearing kind of two different things: Chris Richard, and I'm also hearing uh, Brian Flores, both defensive coordinator type guys uh, for that job down there in Miami. So we'll see which way it plays out. I'm worried a little bit because. Because what Alex Marvez says, Alex is really, really plugged in to what's going on with the Dolphins. So mm-hmm. keep an eye on that one. Yeah. Forty percent Cowboy fans. I, you know, I was hearing somewhere between thirty and forty percent at that game. What do you think? That, that's a fair estimate. I think it would be. Remember you and I walking through the crowd in the preseason game. Oh my God, <laughs> Amber and I walked from the very top that of the Coliseum the all the way, up, and then we walked all the way back up the stairs. That was the worst experience. No Imagine elevator. Brian and I, me wearing high heels, just walking up the. Oh the mascot God. was taking pictures. <laughs> we with had the fans. to pause. We had to take a break. Yeah, because yeah, we ran out of oxygen on the way up. 
<laughs> that sucked. Yeah. That sucked. A lot of Cowboy fans in LA. And uh, yeah, yeah. So absolutely. We yeah. should be we yeah. should be expecting a pretty decent Cowboy. Come yell at Ambar on the crap. field. She'll she'll wave at you. You wave. Hola. Okay. Hola. Um. <laughs> ah, great discussion. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, all that all these people oh. giving you compliments. Yeah. Much better looking yeah, than yeah. Hillman. <laughs> Folks. You must be feeling good right SLR. now. Woo! SLR. Look at it. No, no, SLR. You need some of those. <laughs> some glasses. SLR. <laughs> 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 okay, let's see uh, what other questions, what other questions you got? we got here. Yeah, I mean, you want a home game. If, I mean, if Philly can win and somehow, if you win on Saturday and Philly wins, yeah, I'll uh, take my chances playing Philadelphia in the NFC Championship game here with what I saw with the crowd the other day and all yeah. that. Absolutely. Screenplay is going to be huge. Yeah, yeah, it will be. I think, you know, the thing about the, the – these guys have had a lot of trouble stopping the run. I mean, that's been a big problem for them. That some people have gashed them with some some yards. And so it might be one of those games where, you know, like when you play the Falcons, remember how that first half was like a 6-3 to three game or 9-6, to six and you're thinking, or the same thing with the Saints. You get these high-powered offenses, and all of a sudden the Cowboys get them in a 6-3 a game at half. Yeah. You have to feel pretty yeah. good about that. You have to, because if they're not going to move the ball, I mean, that's, that's the thing. I, okay, let me ask you this. If you had... If you had one thing to worry about with this going into this game, are you going to worry about something on offense or are you going to worry about something on defense? Uh, oof. Well, I am worrying about Todd Gurley. Yeah. That that that's just hard. It's yeah. hard, but I think it's going to come down to shoot. I don't know, because again, the Rams, they've been scoring a lot of points at home. Right. What is it, over 35 points? Yeah. Home it's games. Tough. Yeah, it's they, tough. They've been really good at home. So yeah. it, it's it's just tough. I don't. Are you worried uh, after what you saw the other day? I mean, Seattle they, Seattle couldn't run the ball. So hopefully your run well, defense shows up. Obviously, the, throughout the season, the thing has been the offense, the Cowboys' yeah, offense. No, that, that has yeah. been the problem throughout the season. So that would be the. Most concerning area, I think that the defense the fans, has been. Yeah, fans are more worried about Donald than they are Gurley, and and you're right though. I'm worried about Gurley. I mean, the, the Cowboys have played really... and the other guys they got on the D line. Yeah, they, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. just it's just not Donald. Yeah, it's those other guys. So they can come in strong, and yeah. and we've seen how uh, Dak is affected under pressure when yeah. it, when he gets a lot of pressure. They they create a lot of they create a lot of fumbles too. Yeah. They, they, they yes. their their defensive line creates a lot of the sacks and the fumbles and you gotta but, worry about but that. the but thing Dak's where, been better. Where I say I, I'm concerned about Gurley is it's just when you look at it to where, okay, I think Cowboys defense can do enough to balance things out. Sure. But at the same time can the Cowboys offense keep up with the Rams offense and right. the scoring. Right. So that it's gonna be tough. It's gonna. I, I was talking to Jalen yeah. today. I, I had an interview with him for for Somos, and he was like, uh, "I'm like, what are the, some of the things you you gotta do this week?" He's like, "Man, we're gonna come out there and tackle even harder, strong." I'm right. like, "Jeez, you're gonna kill them yeah. <laughs> if you do, yeah. if you do with the well, way you you've tackle. been tackling yeah, yeah, uh, lately." But yeah. but yeah, definitely. Gonna be a tough one. Yeah, I, 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 I just like I, I worry I worry about if the if you do not get pressure on golf and all of a sudden it turns into the ball going down the field and what we saw with happen with Big passing game with passing game with Jones and a woozy A, you know, and it, the safeties, you know, I mean that that's the thing. I just do worry about the the Rams have got really good tight ends too. I mean mm. that's the I mean you you look at I mean one of the you know, you look at how they, you know, Tyler Higby last year when they played against the Rams in week three had a huge game, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, and, and Gurley throwing him the ball. I mean, you got to worry about all those things. But, again, they, they've got things they have to worry about, too. They have to worry about Zeke. They have to worry oh, about yeah, him. For sure. I mean, let's be honest, uh, uh, Tlaib, Akeem, I mean, you know, uh, you know, they, 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 Akeem Tlaib, they, he hadn't played great. You know, Peters has had their troubles. I mean, they've given up some – they give up that five yards of carry. If they're going to let Dallas run the ball, Dallas is going to run the ball. Dallas will run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. And if, if that sets up some things for Dak, then, you know, yeah. that by all means. I went back and looked 
with uh, went back and looked. Somebody asked me to look back at when Tlaib played at Denver mm -hmm. and look back last year uh, when Amari Cooper went against him. Only one catch, but only played one game against him. And then Amari in the second game got knocked out. He took a, a, a blow to his head and was out of the game with a concussion. So that you know he was out. And but you know I mean that, what I've seen of Tlaib. There, there's some plays to be made. If you protect, if you can get protection, you can make some plays against these guys. Do they, you think he would travel with Coop? I don't think he will. I don't think he will. They, they play right and left. If he travels, you wear his ass out because I don't think he's as good as Peters on the other side. But I, 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 I don't. I mean, I, if, you, if you block, you block this yeah. front, you know, you absolutely have got a shot to, to make some pass plays. I, I, I believe that. I, mean, I just remember Dak playing the last time we played there when his first start and how, I mean, he was just so comfortable. Just duh, 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 yeah. And, yeah, you got Witten and, you know, Frederick was playing and Des Bryant made some great plays in that game. But, you know, I, I, this this team, this team is not, they're not, you can stop them. You can stop defensively. You can stop them, you know, because their quarterback doesn't move. I mean, he's not going to run away. They have trouble with quarterbacks that yeah. run away from him, you know, that can make plays out on the edge and stuff. You pressure this guy, this guy will go down. And so it's about – I think you can definitely slow them down. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Yeah. For sure. Now, as far as completely stopping them, kind of comparing it to what we saw against Seattle at the, at the, in the first quarter, yeah. how they were able to – completely stop yeah. uh, Russell Wilson. Yeah. That, that was very impressive. I think they could do that now completely get him out of the game throughout they, the, for the full game. I don't think so. Yeah. But that's the thing where yeah. the offense, Dallas offense, needs to step up and score some points to kind of yeah. yeah. get the lead. Takeaways. It's going to be about, Amber, it's going to be about dri driving the ball, driving the ball, and finishing. Drive the yep. ball, finish. Drive the ball, finish. That's what this is going to be the key for this game this week, for yeah. sure. So. Tavon, 100%. Uh, yeah, 80, still, 85, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but good enough to where if you get him the ball in his hands. Yeah. I asked Garrett the question today. Do you have to say something to him? Because he, he's a very emotional guy. He, I mean, we've seen him on the sidelines. He's jumping around. He's always. I asked Garrett, I said, do you have to say anything to him? He's, oh, no, you just you don't want to, like, calm him down. But he understands that he can't try and do everything in this game. He has got to just – do what he's really good at and you know if that's good enough if it's I'm sure taking, he wants to show off yeah for if, sure. if, if it's taking punts and getting a field position and you know that's that's kind of where i think that you know this this game is they're going to need some big plays they're going to need some they're going to need some of those chunk plays with its punt returns passes down the field run after catch something has to be done yeah yeah, yeah. uh let's see <laughs> a lot of questions about Tamar. Uh, da, 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 da. No, Sky Amber and I have not gotten invited to the new yacht yet. <laughs> no, on the new yacht. Sorry about that. We'll let you know though. We'll do a we'll do a Periscope live from the yacht when from we the yacht. when we get invited. Yeah. <laughs> it starts saying it wasn't me. Mm -hmm. it wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was yeah. Shaggy. Yeah. Uh, has Hearn come to the building? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. No. He, he might be here. He's back home. I know some teammates went and saw him the other day. So, yeah, yeah. 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 But. I mean, he needs to be at home recovering yeah, anyways. He's no weight on the foot. No, no, yet. yeah, no need for yeah. it. I, I, I forgot how long he said, or I heard that he's not supposed to put Two months. Weight. Two months? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Two months, yeah. he's good at home. Irving uh, is a no. We've talked about yeah, that earlier. Yeah, do you expect Lee okay, to let be me, more Okay, let me apologize to everybody here. Lee, that's a good question because yeah. last week I was saying, I, I know he practiced more, and then he only played four four snaps. I mean, that's... Boys, as well as he played against Seattle. Was that the total? That was total. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And I know I, I know on, on, on our show. I wasn't show, counting, but it. it yeah. It, on our show, I, I was, I, he was kind of like my pick to click guy, that guy to watch, because I thought this was a perfect kind of game for him, you know? So, Vander, they only played 52 snaps total, and Vander Esch and Smith went the majority of the game. Vander Esch and Smith have been outstanding. Yeah. I, but I'll tell you what, I. I, I just don't – I don't quite understand. And, you know, it got to the point, too, where if they're only going to play him four snaps and he doesn't play special teams. It's and like, you, why – Yeah, why keep him yeah. active, you know. But I was really wrong about that. I thought he was going to play a lot more. So, you know, we'll 
We'll see if that, that, that's that, unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is unfortunate. But I guess uh, we'll see what they do decide to do this week, especially yeah. knowing they uh, need, they the need, spots. They, they need, need those receivers spots. receivers and they need linemen. Yeah, sure do. Yeah, yeah. need the spots. Um, I think soon most of the game should work. Well, yeah. I mean, zone coverage against these guys, I think – you know, they've got the receivers are, I mean, when you look at Reynolds, you know, and these guys, I mean, I, I don't think so. I think I, I think I would play man with Cooks, Woods, Reynolds. I, I just wouldn't, I just don't, I don't, I don't think you let them have space to run. I, I think that's a bad idea because the quarterback's an accurate thrower. So, you know, when he, when he doesn't have pressure, I, I think that's a, I think that's a problem. I, I would. I play more, play more man, and then try and get pressure. Try and get guys home. Make this guy crumble a little bit in the pocket, though. You know? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, if who, Cowboys win, who are we rooting for in Sunday's you, game? Philadelphia. <laughs> Phil, if Dallas wins, you want Philadelphia to win. Absolutely. For no, the home field advantage. Home field advantage. The home. NFC Championship game will be played at AT and T Stadium next week if the Cowboys hey. win and the Eagles win. I'll let you say that, though, but I'm not saying I'm rooting for the Eagles, though. Ever. You root for the Eagles if it means you don't have to get on a plane and go to New Orleans. Am I right? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, yeah, but yeah, it's not maybe. coming out of my mouth, yeah, though. It's okay. not coming out of my mouth. Okay. <laughs> Who's got the momentum? I, the Cowboys have been playing to win all – they've been playing to win all year. I mean, I, I – hey, it reminds me so much of these teams that get in the playoffs, have had to fight and scratch and claw all year long to get there. They win a tough game against Seattle. They're playing against a team that all year long, everybody was talking about them being the best team in football. And they stumble down the stretch. So I'll take momentum all day. I mean, they, 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 the Rams might run us out of the park, but I, I will take my chances playing this football yeah. team. I really, really will. Brett Maher needs to step up, too, for yes. sure. <laughs> yes. This is, yes, no mistake here. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, he, I, I'm just hoping and praying like we don't get to see something similar to what happened in the Eagles game against Chicago. Like uh, to lose like that yeah. to a field goal, oh, it, yeah. it's it's that's like one of the worst losses yeah. type of losing. Texas, right there. I, I need to. I wanted to ask somebody. I should have asked Garrett that question. It looked like to me in the coverage, and I wrote about this. They were playing a rock, the long pass that went to lock it at yeah, the end. Yeah. It looked like that Byron Jones thought that that he was going to get help in the middle of the field. They were playing a robber coverage, which means that Jeff Heath was playing in the middle of the field to take the crossers. When nobody crossed, well, when Lockett went deep, Jeff Heath should have went with him, but that's on Byron Jones. I mean, Byron's got to carry him and then hopefully get the help from uh, Heath. They didn't get it. That's a terrible way to give up a big pass. Yeah. Though. But they were playing a coverage they played earlier in the game and got away with it, And it, but the Seahawks just threw a great pass on that one. So, anyway. Yeah. yeah. We've already talked about David Irving at the beginning. No David Irving so far. There's still nothing new happening. Yeah. Yeah. He still hasn't practiced with the team. Uh, don't expect him this Saturday. Yeah. So, yeah, there, there's no good news in regards to him right. just yet. Yeah. Uh, has Schultz been blocking okay? Yeah, been fine. We talked about it. Garrett talked about today is he's a little bit the reach. He doesn't have long reach, and he gets a little short arm. That's what happens. And when you get guys up on you, they kind of get rid of you quickly. He he needs a year. He's like Connor Williams. He's doing the best he can. He needs strength. He needs to be in the weight room. Those are a couple of guys. Those yeah. young guys need to need yeah. to get a little bit stronger. So yeah, yeah. Gregory has been like that. Gregory has been playing the run. Yeah. He's been very impressive. He's yeah. been doing. Uh, what we expected him to do, or yeah. I shouldn't say expect, because a lot of people have doubts in him coming back this year, me included. Yeah. But he's been amazing, great comeback. I thought that last game he limited his mistakes. One of his biggest uh, issues this year is yes, he'll play great for you, mm -hmm. but at the same time he'll get a lot of penalty yeah. and and. and it's, yeah. it's tough. It's tough because of the whole hitting the quarterback, yeah. how yeah. you hit him, and all of that. So it, it's tough, but the refs, are, they're, yeah. they're the ones making the calls. And this is a tough official this week. John Perry is the official, and John Perry is big on roughing the passer. So it might yeah. go both ways, but, yeah, these Cowboy defenders, uh, Lawrence and, then, and Taco and all those guys that if they get a shot – you know, human log. They get a shot on these guy. On this guy, they have to be careful because John Perry, 
the official in this game yeah. is a big, big pa as a big roughing the passer guy. And this whole how they call those penalties, I mm. it, it's yeah. it's tough though. It's tough and yeah. yeah. But let let's just hope that they're fair both sides of Absolutely. the ball, yeah. not just in Dallas Absolutely. that they do the same yeah. for the to the Rams if yeah. if that happens. Yeah. Um. All right, so. <laughs> Nah. Are we going to get a Brian and Ambar finish the fight video? No, probably not. <laughs> you you probably got not. some good stuff from the players themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Today, uh, the Jalen Smith video went out. So that, yeah. that was pretty check good. Check that out, yeah. Yeah, check it out. Also, no need to read his stuff this week. I already got you his pick. He's going with the Cowboys. Did I? Am I? Yes. Am I? Yes. Are you sure? But Why? But why? No, I don't Man, know. Read go gut, read the gut, gut, read gut feeling. <laughs> go, go read gut, gut feeling. Go read gut feeling on Friday. Friday. It's still going up Friday. Still going up Friday. Friday. Make sure uh, you check that out on DallasCowboys.com. He, he's picking the Cowboys, but why? Maybe, How? How maybe. are the Cowboys winning? You don't though? know that. How? <laughs> you don't know that. He's going to tell you how they're going to win. Nah. And if, they, if he's picking... The Rams, he's going to tell you why, why he's speaking the Rams. That's right. But just figure out on Gut Feeling on Friday. Uh, also, if you speak Spanish, check out SomosCowboys.com. Please do. <laughs> for the Spanish stuff. Yeah. And Your breakdown was good today. I liked it. I liked it. She, she broke down Todd Gurley and and, and, uh, yeah. and Aaron Donald. We, we broke good. down some good stuff. You did. Um, good job. But, yeah, we'll be back next week. Hopefully celebrating another victory. Right. Um, but regardless, we'll be back on Wednesday. Uh, three. No, we'll figure it, we'll out. figure it out. We'll figure it out. But we'll be back. And yeah, fingers crossed. Let's start praying. Let's start lighting up the candles. If you go out there, if you go out there, folks, you go to the game, make yes. noise. Make yeah. noise. Make a lot of noise. Besos. Saludos a todos. Adios. Nos vemos good luck. Hasta la See ya. Yes. Good luck. Good, good luck, luck, Brian. Good luck. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. 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 Good luck. Ciao.